Good morning, my HCG peeps. It's Maddie. It is round two. P2. V L C D. Wah, 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 25. And today is Sunday, the day after the sleep setting, which went fine. They did have um, a cot for me this time, which was lovely. Um, it had all the springs that you could feel. Um, so that was fine. I didn't really sleep. They, they keep the rooms at Arctic temperatures. I've never done it on HCG before, but I am telling you, as cold as I have been lately, it just made my bones hurt. I can't sleep when I'm cold. I would be a terrible homeless person. I can't sleep when I'm cold. So um, I came home this morning and I got under my down comforter and I just laid there and it took about two hours for my body to stop hurting. So I did not sleep well. <sighs> okay, so I have to tell you about tomorrow before I tell you about what I released. So I have a client slash friend of mine who shared her membership to Costco. So um, I said, okay, we'll go try it. We'll do, this has all just happened in the last month, and I hear people speaking great things about Costco. And I know all of you are going, ruh row. yeah. So, um, and anybody who knows anybody on the spectrum, you can just start laughing with me now, because I brought both my kids. <laughs> what? Yeah, I wanted them to be able, the whole premise, not knowing what Costco was like, I mean, I knew it was big, but I didn't know. I didn't know. So our whole premise of going in was, we are going to look for how we can make healthier choices more affordable, right? Because I hear it's really affordable. Okay, so just keep laughing. First of all, there are testing stations at every corner. Is that all the time? Are they like that all the time or is it just on Saturdays? I don't know. So. There's food everywhere, which is keeping the autistic child going for the crowd, right? He's like, I just got to get to the next testing table. So um, we do, we get through there and I have to look, right? So anyway, um, we made great choices. Um, you know, there's that whole aisle of cereal bars and granola bars. Well, you know what? I'm the mom, and I just said, no, these down there are off limits. They're all loaded with sugar and cornstarch. No, but the Kashi ones are good. Pick one of the Kashi ones or this one. So they did, and they made healthier choices. And instead, we didn't even look at the potato chips or anything. I gave them a limited amount of crackers they could choose from. And then we got this huge thing of artichoke hummus. And um, they're really excited about that. So we got a big thing of carrots and a big thing of uh, broccoli. Um, so all of this instead of chips. We got melons, and I melon balled out three of them because um, there's two in one package, three in another, and put them into the freezer so they have snacks. Um, and some of our dinner choices. They made really great choices. They, you know, I love my kids. They made really good choices. They chose falafels. Um, they chose chickpea and spinach patties instead of chicken patties. Um, just some better protein choices. They had a new Greek yogurt there. I'm going to try, I think, when I'm on P3. It's, um, it says no sugar. It's zero fat and 14, or it's, yeah, zero fat, 14 grams of protein. So I have to look into it more. But I'm not willing to experiment at this point. Um, but it, it looked good. And the kids said it was delicious. So I got them uh, a 12 pack. Um, they have strawberry, blueberry, and something else. So anyway, um, so the kids made some really healthier choices. We only had one meltdown. However, in that meltdown, we did truly frighten three people. Um, but then I was able to pull them back around and bring him over into the toilet tissue section where he could do no harm and get him calmed down. Um, so, and then we focused him back on food. So um, it was truly an adventure. It took us three hours, you guys. I had no idea. Note to self, oh my gosh, Costco is a zoo. So um, the boy will not be joining me at Costco again. However, um, I got home and then I needed to portion it all out because I also know teenagers and they will go, 
Look at this big thing of falafels. It's in one box. It must be one serving. Huh? No. So I was portioning it all out, and he was starting to melt down again, so I heated him up. I heated all of them up. Um, a falafel each, um, a chickpea spinach patty so they could taste it, and a zucchini stick. Now, here's the thing my kids don't know. It's gluten-free, dairy-free. And with all their issues, they have no idea this is going to be a healthier choice for them. I love it. They didn't read the package, so I took it all out of the package so they won't even notice. Um, so I heated all that up before I fed myself. And now I am an hour and a half past when I'm supposed to eat. Oh, and we went to Whole Foods after. So I'm like dizzy, almost fainting. So I had half a falafel. I had a third of a chickpea patty and a zucchini stick. So I cheated. I don't think, I don't think, there's no gluten, so there were no starches, and there's no dairy. Um, I don't know what the fat contents were, but I'm pretty sure chickpeas are not on P2. And, um, although Kat says you can eat them on P3. Um, and I know zucchini's not and stuff. So I just didn't eat the rest of the day, which I wasn't hungry anyway. I know for a 100% surety, I did not drink nearly enough water. I didn't think I'd be in price or Costco for three hours. And I didn't bring water with me. Um, I, and then we went to this, um, flea market thing because my son heard there was a certain toy he really wanted and he wanted to use his money to get it. He thought we were going to run in. He knew where it would be and run out. Yeah, he had no idea. We walked to this stupid thing for 45 minutes looking, looking. Look, it was huge. So I'm pretty sure I walked off the cheat that I had. But ugh, anyway, then, um, then we came home. And um, so that was my cheat. Where am I at? I'm okay. So the good news is the yay is that I came home yesterday to a package and my mom who I she knows I hate to shop and my mother loves to buy me clothes she's been buying me clothes but um, since I was little and we have a clash in style I am a very straightforward my mother loves girly clothes anyway my mom hearing that I'd lost so much weight got me some clothes so I opened the box and went Oh no, clothes from my mom. But here's the thing, they were all size 16 and they all fit perfect. I'm not gonna model them for you, um, not right now. But um, she got me two pairs of pants, a pair of jeans out of that, um, which I was like, oh no, because I haven't tried a size 16 jeans, I don't have it. And it fit perfectly, I'm so excited. And then she bought me these nice gray slacks and then um, she gave me four tops. One of them didn't fit. It's way too tight. Um, it's got an elastic waist and it looks funny. So I gave that one to my daughter um, and it looks adorable on her. It's too big, but that's the style. And so she wears a little tank underneath it. It's adorable. Um, so anyway, I'm so excited that they all fit. They, they aren't tight. One of them is a little awkward just because you know I like things a little big. So, um, so I'm so excited though. And that was such a great gift and reward. So, um, that's basically my day yesterday. So with all of that, the good, bad, and the ugly, um, I released 0.4 this morning. I am now at 213.0. Oh, three more pounds, three more pounds, five or six more days. All right, I can do this. So I'm just going to be strict, strict, strict pop. And I'm going to make sure I drink, drink, drink my water and um, try and get those last three pounds to release. Come on, buddy. Um, now I don't have any, no big tests coming up, no medical appointments coming up. I don't think I'd have to look at my schedule, but I'm pretty sure we are clean this week. Um, and it's kind of a normal week, whatever normal is for me. And I am going to just... Hit the books, stay strict on pop. I'm just, oh, except for my FIA. I do do my FIA on those days when I run the kids around because I don't have time for, 
for heating up. I'm not near microwaves when I need to eat or anything like that. So anyway, so that is my plan to get those last three pounds to go. <sighs> so um, that is my long tail of yesterday. And I'm glad all that is over. I think I'm a little fatigued from my last couple weeks. Um, and El Voden, I watched your vlog last night. My, they didn't have Wi-Fi, so I'd watch it on my phone. I don't know how to comment on that. But you were so sweet. Yes, it is a lot. I was thinking about that when you were saying, oh, my laundry isn't done and my kids are helping with that. I thought, girl, now you know how I feel. Then you said, and man, I don't know how mad Maddie Law does it. I went, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. Now you know my world. Crazy, isn't it? Working full time, going to school part time, studying intensely and doing two kids. And I wish I had a husband to help me, kind of. But then I'd have to clean up his underwear too. And I'm not interested in that right now. <laughs> Although my daughter said when I tried on one of those outfits, you know, mom, um, you know, a guy might look at you and think you're hot. I went, that's okay, because I'm not interested. Okay, this is 11 minutes. I apologize. I love you all. Big releases, easy stabilization, happy maintenance. Love you, mean it. Sorry it went so long. Bye.